want to transcribe audio or video automatically, including timestamps, and that even translate it into another language? In this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that using Bookily.com's transcribe audio or video feature inside N8N. This is great for repurposing content, adding captions in different languages, analyzing spoken content, or simply turning speech into usable text, fully automated. You don't have to build the workflow from scratch. I've placed the workflow JSON file in the video description if you want to import it later. For now, just follow along as I explain each step and why we do it. Let's jump in and build the workflow together step by step. In this example, we keep things simple by storing all input data in a Google Sheet, but feel free to use any service that works with N8N. First, create a new sheet in your Google Drive with the following columns. Row, Title, Media URL, Transcript, Translated Transcript, and Timestamped Transcript. Here's what each column is for. Row is a unique identifier for each row. Title is the name of your transcript. We'll send it to Bookly as the name for the transcript. Media URL should contain a public, downloadable link to the audio or video file. Transcript contains the extracted text from the media file. Translated transcript contains the translated transcript if selected. Timestamped transcript holds the full transcript with timestamps. The N8N workflow will automatically populate the last three columns using Bookily. Click on Add First Step and select the Google Sheets node from the right menu. To trigger the workflow every time we add a new row to the sheet, choose the trigger On Row Added. For poll times, you can select any mode, then select the document and sheet from the lists. In this example, my sheet is called Transcripts. Let's add a new row to the sheet with a row, title, and media URL. In this case, we're using a video generated from previous videos of this playlist. The good thing is, Bookily makes all results easily reusable, so you can quickly plug them into new workflows. Back in N8N, click Fetch Test Event to retrieve the data we just added as a new row in our sheet. Great. Now that we have all the necessary details from our Google Sheet, we can generate the transcript. Select the Bookily node in the action Transcribe Audio or Video. Then fill in the fields step by step. For the name of the transcript, drag and drop the title into the Name Input field. For the URL, drag and drop the Media underscore URL into the URL Input field. The spoken language in my video is English, so I can keep the default value of the Language Input field. I want to add a Spanish translation, so I choose Spanish for Translation Language. That's done. Next, we'll write the transcript data created by Bookily back to the Google Sheet. Select the Google Sheets node and the Update Row in Sheet action. Choose the same document and sheet from the first node. For column to watch on, select the column Row. Remove title and media URL from Values to Update. To be able to write the Bookily data to the Google Sheet, we need to execute the previous node once. Click on Execute Previous Nodes, then Drag and drop the input fields into the form fields accordingly. In the last step, change the input to Google Sheets trigger and drag and drop the row value into the row form field. Now let's execute the workflow to see it in action. Bookily will process the video, transcribe the voiceover, translate it into Spanish, and return all results to the Google Sheet automatically. Once the workflow finishes, you'll see all three columns filled in. The transcript, the translated transcript, and the time-stamped transcript. You can preview everything right in your sheet, but let's also check it directly on bookily.com to see the full details. Go to the transcripts section and click on the transcript we just created. Here you'll find the full transcription, the translation, and the breakdown with timestamps. You can simply click on any text block to copy it to your clipboard or download the entire transcript as a text file with all content included. And that's it! You've just learned how to automatically transcribe and translate media using Bookily and N8N. In the next video, we'll add auto-generated subtitles to a video so your content becomes more accessible and engaging for viewers. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe, and share it with someone who works with audio or transcripts. Thanks for watching.